Hi, this is Deborah Dodge with BourbonBeyond.com, and tonight we have a really great celebration. Our very own Smokehouse is celebrating their 65th anniversary tonight, and we have the exclusive interview with the owner, Lee Spencer. I'm standing here with Mr. and Mrs. Spencer, the owners of the fabulous and famous Smokehouse restaurant. Congratulations, this is the 65th anniversary. Yes, thank you very much, appreciate that. So what is your secret to having such a successful place? Staying open 65 years. <laughs> You know, we were just talking today, we looked up our files, and we found a 1976 newspaper, the Daily News tabloid, and we were celebrating our 30th anniversary at that time. At that time, I owned Michael's Restaurant over on Los Feliz Boulevard, and I saw our ad, Michael's, next to the 30-year anniversary of the Smokehouse. There were 41 ads in that paper of other restaurants. Not one of them are still in business today. In 30 years' time, 35 years' time, they're all gone. The Smokehouse, the only one left. We contributed to the fact that, number one, every restaurant has to have a reason for being, and you have to have a, what we call a hook. And our hook, of course, is our famous garlic bread. And, and secondly, our location. I mean, how can you beat it? We're Cross Street Warner Brothers. Believe it or not, we do uh, 8 to 12 after-service parties, uh, if you call it parties, I guess receptions after the funerals across the street were right across from Forest Lawn. In fact, when Elizabeth Taylor passed on a few months ago, we had her, her party here. Wow. So speaking we get you coming and going. So, oh, goodness. Um, speaking of Hollywood greats, I know that Bing Crosby's been here, Johnny Carson, right? Right, a few of the, you know, we have some of our uh, dignitaries here, Grant. The case here. Um, Is he George Clooney? George yeah, George Clooney. Clooney, you know him, and... Uh, Roy Disney used to come in here. In fact, I sat right next to him uh, just about a month before he passed on. And, of course, uh, we all know who his, uh, his uncle was. And uh, there's Bing Crosby up there. Now, if you notice that Life magazine, October 1946, that was the week that we opened up. So it's amazing. And uh, Life magazine, they don't even make Life magazine anymore. We've outlasted <laughs> Life magazine. For well, you're, it's definitely an icon. An iconic place, wouldn't you I say? Could. Thank you very much. Now I, Burbank, so. I was in 94, a long time ago. <laughs> I have to know, what is the secret to your garlic bread? Well, you know what's funny is that we've actually uh, put that online and we uh, have it in the Los Angeles Times every few years. And people call me and they say, it doesn't taste the same. I said, well, did you start out with homemade sourdough bread? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> but the real secret is the fact that we have a proprietary cheese, which you can't buy. You know, people go down and they say, ah, oh, we tried Velveeta, we tried this and that, but we have a proprietary mix that uh, is made exclusively for the smokehouse. So you're never going to release that to the public? <laughs> well, uh, not in my day. <laughs> now, we used to have some competitors in the neighborhood that used to serve it, but they're no longer in business. So that, that was it. You know, if you're going to you know, imitate, you better be damn good at it. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for talking to us, and congratulations on right, so many exactly. successful years. And it's such a great place, and it's so famous. It's as famous as the stars that visit it. Well, we hope so, and we're looking forward to another 65. I was telling the staff today when we saw that uh, 1976, I said, just think of 35 years, it will be 100 years of age. And they'll look back and say, look at those uh, punks back there in 19 <laughs> 2011, 65 years. So we hope the tradition carries on. What is Thank your you favorite? Burbank. Thank you. What is your favorite dish here? Mm, I'd have to say for myself the chicken piccata. I've had that. It's really good. And the cob is really great. Cob salad. Cob salad. My favorite. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you both thank very you. much. I really appreciate your time. Of course, we're famous for prime rib. <laughs> of course. But I love salads. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank and you, dear. many, appreciate many successful years yeah. coming your way. See you again. Thank you. Okay. I'm standing here with City Councilman Tom LeBonge and Alice Roth, his assistant. My deputy. Your deputy. <laughs> well, thank you. Deputy is, but Alice used to work here too. I know at she the did. Smokehouse and was one of the waitresses no, years ago. I was a hostess. A hostess. <laughs> All right, well, that's still a lot of work. No, yeah. But 65 years, a, a great tradition here at the Smokehouse. It's right on the border of Los Angeles, right on the banks of the LA River. We're happy on behalf of Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa and the whole city council to salute the Smokehouse with this great commendation. That is absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you very much, but the Smokehouse is beautiful. Think how much joy has been here with the great meals, camaraderie, friendship. It's a very uniting place, and restaurants like this are special for our community. I, well, you have a very busy schedule, so we really appreciate you taking time out. Oh, you betcha. I want to say to my high school coach who lives in Burbank, I, he coached at John Marshall High in L.A., Coach Kiwan. Way to go, <laughs> Coach. I'm still running.
Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thanks thank you. Well, that concludes our evening here at the 65th anniversary celebration. We got to meet the owners, we got to talk to some politicians, and we got to get a real feel of what this place has brought to Burbank people and Hollywood. So thank you for joining us in another segment of BurbankAndBeyond.com. Signing off at the Smokehouse, this is Deborah Dodge.